Good morning children. Welcome back to our math class. Today we are going to learn our new chapter unit 7 decimals. Today's our learning objectives are to learn tenths, hundredths and thousandths. To build a decimal number. To express as a decimal. To express as a fraction. You have already learned decimals in 4th standard. Let us go through that. Consider a shaded rectangle like this. This is a hole. How many rectangles here? Only one. So, one hole. Next, tenths. When one is further divided into ten equal parts, each part is called a tenth. Suppose this rectangle is divided into ten equal parts like this. Each part is called a tenth. Here only one shaded portion. So we can read it as where form one tenth. The fractional form of one tenth is one divided by ten. There are ten equal parts. So denominator ten. We can also use decimals to convey the same idea which is equal to 0 0.1. Here denominator 10, in 10 only one zero. So after decimal point only one digit. Suppose if you are shading this all tenths, what will we get? This whole we will get like this. So one whole is equal to 10 tenths. Next hundredths. When one tenth is further divided into ten equal parts, each part is called a hundredth. Consider this one tenth. If we divide into ten equal parts like this, each part is called hundredth. Here only one small rectangle shaded. This is one hundredth. The one hundredth we can write in fractional form 1 divided by 100. The same way decimal form which is equal to 0 0.01. In 100 there are two zeros so after decimal point we should keep two digits. Here only one, one digit. So we should add one more zero with that. Next there are ten hundredths. Here ten hundredths. This ten hundredths make a tenth. So one tenth is equal to ten hundredths. Next thousands. The same way we can write when one hundredth is further divided into ten equal parts, each part is called a thousand. You can see here a hole. Out of this hole, only small part is shaded here. I have zoomed in here this hundredth. One hundredth I have zoomed in. When a hundredth is further divided into ten equal parts. Ten equal parts. Each part is called a thousand. Only one part is shaded here. Only one part shader out of this thousand part. So we can read as one thousandth. One thousandth. The fractional form is one divided by thousand. In this thousand how many zeros? Three zeros. So when we write in decimal form after decimal, after decimal point how many digits should we keep there? three digits that means 0 0.001 after decimal point three digits are there 0 0.001 okay then this is one hundredth one hundredth how many thousands are there there are ten thousands so we can write as one hundredth is equal to ten Thousands. 
Let us take this chart for easily observing. Build a decimal. It is very important to write places for building a decimal. Once at the right of one's place, decimal point, then tenths, hundredths, thousands. One whole. Here four tenths, three hundredths, six thousands. One is a whole number, so we can write one itself plus four tenths fractional form four divided by ten plus three hundredths three divided by hundred plus six thousandths six divided by thousand, which is equal to one is a whole number. We can keep like this. Then four hundred thirty-six. You have to always notice the last place. Here thousands, so divided by thousand, four hundred thirty-six divided by thousand. This is the fractional form. Next, decimal form. One is a whole number, so we can write same one plus four divided by ten. Here ten only one zero, so after decimal point only one digit, zero point four plus three divided by hundred. Hundred has two zeros, so after decimal point two digit. Here only one digit that is three, so we should add one more zero. So zero point zero three plus six divided by thousand. There are three zeros, so after decimal point we should write three digits. Only one digit see digit here. So we should add two more zeros, zero point zero zero six. Then we can write decimal number. Once place one after that decimal point, then tenths place four, hundredths place three, and thousandths place six. So we got here number decimal number one point. Four three six. Part of a decimal number. In this decimal number, one is whole number part. After that decimal point, the right side of decimal point, decimal part. The decimal part always less than one whole. Next, we can read this decimal number. One. The decimal point we can read as and. Point we can read and. After that, four hundred thirty-six. Then, in this last digit, the place of last digit is thousands. So we should include that thousands place also. So we can read one and four hundred thirty-six thousands, or one. Point four three six. Okay, children, you can see this chart. Word form, fractions, decimals. First one, six tenths. Fractions, six by ten. Decimal, six zero point six. Next one, seventy four and nine tenths. Fraction, seventy four nine tenths means nine by. Ten decimal seventy four point nine. Here this ten only one zero. So after decimal only one digit. That is nine seventy four point nine. Next five hundred five hundredths fraction five by hundred decimal zero point zero five. Here in hundred there are two zeros. So after decimal point, we have to give two digit. Here only one digit five. So we have to add one more zero. Next eight and twenty three hundredths fraction. Eight twenty three divided by hundred. Eight is a whole number. Twenty three divided by hundred. Fraction decimal eight point two three. 
here in this hundred there are two zeros so we have to keep after decimal point two digit so eight point two three next two thousands fractions two divided by thousand decimal zero point zero zero two next fourteen and sixty nine thousands fraction fourteen sixty nine divided by thousand fourteen is a whole number sixty nine by thousand is the fraction next decimal fourteen point zero six nine here there are three zeros so after decimal point we have to keep three digit so we should add one more zero here only sixty nine only two digit so we have to keep one more add one more zero next Two hundred seven thousand fraction two hundred seven divided by thousand decimal zero point two zero seven. Express as a decimal. The first question one hundred and forty two divided by ten. This is a fractional form. We have to find out in the decimal form. Then. Here denominator ten. That means after decimal pa a point, we have to keep only one digit. See, one hundred and forty-two. There are three digit. The last digit is only two. So we should keep after decimal point only one digit. That that means the answer is fourteen point two. Next thirty-two divided by hundred. Hundred means after decimal point, we have to keep two digit. So the answer is zero point three two. Next, eight hundred and forty-three divided by hundred. Hundred uh, after decimal point, we should keep two digit because here hundred. But here eight hundred and forty-three, there are three digits. So you should keep after decimal point only four and three. Eight is a whole number here. Eight point four three is the answer. Next, thirty divided by one thousand. One thousand means after decimal point, we should keep three digits. But here only thirty. Thirty uh, has only two digits. So we should add one more zero. So the answer is zero point zero three zero. Next two nine by thousand. See this two is a whole number. So when you are writing the answer to keep it as a whole number, then point zero zero nine. Why zero zero? Because here thousand we should. Keep after decimal point three digit, so we should add two more zeros. Next one four hundred and fifty divided by thousand. The answer is one point four five zero. Next express as a fraction. Here zero point eight. This is a decimal form. We have to find find out fraction form. After decimal point, how many digits are there? Only one digit. So divided by Ten. How can we write the answer? Eight divided by ten. Next, one point one. After decimal point, only one digit. So divided by ten. Remove this point. What will we get? Eleven. So the answer is eleven by ten. Or we can write here one is a whole number. So keep it as one here whole number. Then um, this decimal part one point one. So One by ten is the fraction form. You can write this form. Next, three point zero seven. Three. Uh, we can remove first this digi, uh, decimal point. Then you will get three hundred and seven. After decimal point, how many digits are there? Two digits. So divide by hundred. Or how can we write this? Three is a whole number. So write here whole number first. Three. Then seven by hundred. Any method you can use. Okay. Next, zero point one one. This you can try yourself. Right? What is the answer? Yes. Answer is eleven by hundred. Next, zero point zero one five. Tell me the answer. Okay. Answer is fifteen divided by one thousand. One thousand because after decimal point there are three digits, so you can write one thousand. Very good. Next. Four point zero zero eight. Okay, first you have to check how many digit after decimal point. Three.
3 digits so divide by 1000 uh, then remove this point what is the number 4008 yes 4008 then 4008 divided by 1000 or you can keep for as a whole number then write like that form also 4 8 by 1000 Okay children, this is your notebook work and this is your textbook work. Only some questions. Thank you children.